So a lot of stuff has changed since our last interview in 2009. Yeah. You know, last time we did the interview, it was you and Kurt. Yeah, it was. What happened with Kurt? Why'd you kick him out? Uh, I mean, there were a lot of reasons uh, that we decided to switch the lineup up. And one of them was that happiness, we were just really happy with happiness and didn't feel like we could really push that envelope with that lineup much more than we could with that record and I wanted to do something different and something we hadn't done for a while and I wanted to go a little harder honestly and I just didn't see us doing that with that lineup like I figured the next record would probably have even less screaming and be you know just way more I don't know what it would have been but I wouldn't have been happy playing it and so we made some big changes and I've always been good friends with all the members of the band and been able to talk to them and I just you know decided that maybe bringing Johnny back and getting everyone back would be you know a cool thing to do and people online were kind of you know there was a big you know rumor mill about it like what if DBM2 happened you know DBM2 and that even you know got to me and I was like you know that would be a fucking cool idea so I thought it would be awesome to do, talk to Johnny and talk to our management and everybody involved and they were all down and I mean I thought it would just be a record and now we're here, you know, first day of a whole tour, uh, the downtown Bella Mountain tour and I didn't even think it would get this far so I'm actually stoked to even see where it's going to go. Mm-hmm. And you also brought John back into the band too, Yeah. he wasn't in the band last yeah. time we talked. Tell me about that. That's actually been awesome because like, John's always been uh, my favorite screamer lyrically and uh, delivery and phrasing, like everything. So having him back in the band, it adds the dynamic, the screaming dynamic that we just didn't have without him. And I had fun screaming, but, and I I like my parts, but just something about, you know, John, like as just a straight up vocalist, adds a new dimension to the band that I couldn't do. And so I'm, I'm really happy with having John back. What was the writing process like for this? It was um, a whole new lineup. It was really interesting. We write songs in practice, write uh, write them before practice, and bring them. You know, it was just a combination, and we'd record them with you know just a couple mics, really crudely. Mm-hmm. And I'd take them home and write second guitar parts over them, and record them at home using Logic. You know, just some home recording software I have. And that's how all the second guitar parts for the record came to be. It was just me listening at home and, you know, just playing a bunch of riffs and figuring out what would go cool with the other stuff we'd laid down. So it, it was, you know, it, it went by pretty quick because we gelled really well and getting everyone back together, me, Eric, and Matt writing together, because that was all we had was just uh, really awesome and it went really quickly and I'm really happy with the record. What were your objectives going into the writing process? What did you want from this record aside from it being... I wanted it to be a little heavier, and that's about it. I also wanted to explore territories we'd never explored and just make a new DGD record, you know, do something different. You yourself as an individual and as a musician, how have you grown over the past couple years since happiness? I've definitely grown a lot as a musician. Um, As an individual, you know, I've been touring. I haven't had any time to grow. You know, I've been the same guy, but... uh, Musically, I started out just so raw, and everything I played on DBM1 and the EP was like at the height of my ability. I was like, oh my god, you know, live, just I better play this right. And now I've, you know, I've been practicing. I, you know, you could always be better at what you're doing, like, you've never fully mastered your craft. So I've always been getting better and pushing my personal, like, the per- the envelope personally as a guitar player every time we write a record to be better and you know do more you know different things than we've done in the past so I feel like I've really grown um, musically and you know I've, I explore all kinds of territories now that I would never even have thought possible when I was uh, writing the original Downtown Battle Mountain as well as with our drummer like we both grown together so we could you know experiment and that's an important dynamic of our band. You know? You guys are the the two original members. Yeah, yeah. I do have to ask about the MacBook, the MacBook situation. (laughs) Explain that to me. Uh, That, you know, doesn't have anything to do with me. So that's, you know, that is a Johnny thing. And I wasn't even with him during that whole time. I have no idea what went on exactly. I'm not trying to pry into other people's business. For sure. Yeah. Well, one question I do have is back when we did the interview, you said the 
reason that he was uh, kicked out of the band initially was because, well, one of the reasons was because he was stealing. Yeah. Um, following the MacBook situation, has this been the right decision? Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to make the best music possible when I started the band. And after making DBM2, like, I really feel like that was the best mech record we could make right now. And I'm so happy with that. And I, I don't care about all that other bullshit, you know. Was, we're, we're here playing shows and touring. Like, obviously, it hasn't affected us much. So. How have the shows been with the new lineup? We'll find out tonight. This is the, oh, this is first, the first night. Yeah, this is really the first show. We played one, sh like, showcase a couple months ago, and we played just a few songs from DBM1, and that's that's the only thing we've done with Johnny since mm -hmm. having him back. So this is really the first show with this lineup, you know, completely playing a full set and doing our thing. So I'm excited. I think that this tour is going to be great. With the new record, do you, well, I guess I should ask more of, a, of an industry question. Um, with CD sales on the decline and vinyl on the rise, do you see Dance Gavin Dance pressing vinyl? Actually, we have a 7-inch with the uh, hot bonus tracks mm -hmm. from Downtown Battle Mountain 2 coming out. So we're already going to do some vinyl, and we've been getting on our label about doing a DBM, DBM2 uh, double vinyl. So I mean, I'd like to. I'd really like to see that in the future. When does the uh, the Downtown Battle Mountain Two vinyl come out? I'm not sure. There's a date on that yet. So just have to see when everything's ready, and we'll get it out as soon as possible.